debate between J.D. Vance and Tim Ryan last night. It was a town hall. Um, but there were some debate-like moments. Uh, it was quite something. Yeah, Tim Ryan went on Fox News into a Fox News town hall. He clearly is trying to win over some Republican voters who may be skeptical of J.D. Vance. Talked about a ton of stuff. Sat down with Brett Baer and Martha McCallum. Mm. And Martha asked uh, asked. Congressman Ryan uh, about a moment he had on our show last month where he said we have to kill and confront the extremist part of the Republican Party. Not all Republicans, but we've got to kill and confront the extremist part of it and then work with what he called the normal mainstream Republicans. Here was his response in that exchange. When you say that the MAGA movement should be killed and confronted, who is in that category? The guys who stormed the Capitol on January 6th, they are the lead. <laughs> They, they, they're, the, they're the leaders. This is what I'm saying. They stormed the Capitol on January 6th. They beat up 140 police officers, killed, killed one. Okay, they killed, they killed one. We all, we all, we all watched, we all watched the, we all watched the video. We all watched the video. And I, and okay, hold on. Let him finish, please. And I work. I'm, I'm happy to have this conversation. I'm not afraid to have this conversation. These are the conversations we need to have in this country. I welcome you guys. Let's just be respectful. But I'm not afraid to stand here and defend my position. Um, on January 6th, 140, cap, I, I sit on the subcommittee that funds the Capitol Police. These are my friends. 140 of them got hurt. And some of them still can't go back to work because they were beat up with lead pipes, they were sprayed with pepper spray, they were beaten with flagpoles, okay? They were trying to overthrow the government. They were trying to stop the peaceful transition of the government. What else were they doing there? Are they going to kill Mike Pence, right? They want to kill Nancy Pelosi. Now somebody's beating up Nancy Pelosi's husband with a hammer. J.D. Vance raised money for the insurrectionists. He made several social media posts to raise money for them. Now, again, I don't care what your politics are, but Americans should say no. We have to say no to that. And he did get applause at the end yeah. of that answer where he sat and patiently mm -hmm. sort of explained. The booing you heard there was over the death of Officer Sicknick, who died right. the next day as a result of the next wounds day, he and suffered. Who, whose mom said yeah. he was killed by what happened there. Right. But but you, it's it's a fact. He's run such a good campaign. You yeah. just have to say Tim Ryan. He's walking this tightrope of yeah. being a Democrat in a state that has gone red in the last couple of presidential elections and trying to win over some Republicans who, again, are not in love with J.D. Vance in Ohio. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. J.D. Vance is a weird guy. I mean, for Ohio, yeah. they, the Republicans look at him as being a weird guy. I've talked to Republican donors. I've said it here before. Republicans say he's the worst candidate they've ever seen at that level. He's the laziest candidate. He's disinterested. He gets in fights with well, his own donors. Georgia. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. But, but they like him in Georgia. But, but, but they like him in Georgia. J.D. Vance, uh, unlike Herschel, J.D. Vance never won a Heisman Trophy in the national <laughs> championship. And let me just tell you. In Ohio or in Georgia. That would go a long way. <laughs> that, as Robert Frost would say, has made all the difference. Yeah. But JD Vance is a weird guy. Like he's yeah. he's a venture capitalist. He wrote his book. He loved being around elitists. He loved going on shows like this. He loved going to cocktail parties and having everyone, oh, J.D., you understand the hoi polloi. You understand the team. Yes, I do. And little butters would be in his little venture capitalist vest and sit there and they go, I like San Francisco. I like venture capitalism. Is this J.D. Smartest people in the world. J.D. Vance. It, yeah. That's, it, doesn't that sound just like him? Yes. So... There is this weird disconnect between that guy that Peter Thiel mm -hmm. has placed in the heartland. A guy who got rich by mocking his own people and making them look like zombies. Let me tell you something, baby. I wouldn't have gone back to my high school reunion if I had written a book saying, oh, all my friends, the high school reunion, I looked in the windows and they had eyes like zombies. Like he got rich and famous by kicking his own people. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I don't know that that's a winning, uh, winning formula, but I will say that we've known Tim Ryan for a long time. He's really grown in this camp. He was good, yeah. but he was not that good. He's, he's found his center. He he, knows. He's run about as good of a campaign as I think I have seen. Yep.
yeah. uh, on, on this level. Democrats yes. across the nation say that Ryan's run as good of a campaign as one could run in Ohio, a state that has dramatically trended red, a state that most Democrats didn't think was even in play this time around, a state at this moment, national Democrats still not funding. Congressman Ryan it's has been on this show insane. a couple Why? of times now saying, I still have not, despite my pleas to the national party, I'm still not getting the help that I need here in the stretch run. So the fact that the polls are as close as they are, and yes, it has helped that J.D. Vance, as just documented, is an odd fit for Ohio, a carpetbagger, one who has, you know, had shifted his positions on party stances a number of times. This is one Democrats... They hope Ryan get across the finish line. Polls have him just down. But regardless of the effort, he has run a remarkable campaign in a very difficult state. And